I feel like I'm a daily vlogger now or something. What's going on? I'm I'm back again. I'm waiting for these new lights to come in. I'm looking for something to do. Let's bang out a quick second channel video. Jason Nash. You remember him? Best known as that old guy who hung out with a bunch of uh, kids that are my age. And recently, his best friend probably should be in jail. So I don't think there's much going on in his world. But he decided to start a, a talk show. <laughs> Sounds like a great idea to bring yourself back into the limelight. And big surprise. Horrible idea. Not good. So today, I'm thinking let's watch through this piece of crap and and see what the big deal is because uh, it's it, people aren't liking it. Switch over to the game cam. We're in the Twitch live stream setup right now. Feels a little weird. This thing's got... Got more dislikes than likes. Not great. Also, it's been nine days since he's uploaded this and, and he the views are not doing great versus the subscriber count. But hey, views never had anything to do with whether or not the content was good. So let's find out if uh, this this can prove us wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Jason Nash Show. Starring Jason Nash. Logo. Rating, let's let's rate the logo. Not good. Not a good logo. Oh, there goes Jason. He's walking with him. Not a lion. Okay, so I've already watched a little bit of this, spoiler alert, and um, it is a, a direct ripoff of the Eric Andre show. Everything from the band to the awkward pacing to the way the guests enter the show, it's all a ripoff. But it's not good. It's really bad. Eric Andre is a very special, specific type of person, and he's basically the only person that could host that show. And Hannibal Burris is a big reason why the show feels the way it does as well. And he doesn't have a sidekick. His sidekick is basically this guy with the ukulele who doesn't really do much. And it just, oh, it's so bad. Not to mention that the set looks awful as well. It's very ugly. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jason Nash Band. Thank you. Thank you, Larry. Guys, uh, welcome. This is a new show that we're doing here on my channel. Hope you like it. Uh, I couldn't retire to the beach yet, so we decided to bring the beach to me. The set was $35,000. Dude, uh, so the pacing just like does not work with it. Like the comedic awkwardness of it. And it also doesn't work because everything is so awkward in that space right now. It, it doesn't work. And it just makes everything actually awkward rather than funny. Um, I'm in way over my head. And Larry is 2,600 a day. All right, let's get into some jokes, huh, guys? These are some jokes that we wrote. They're sort of topical. They're sort of not, because it took us a long time to get the set together. And, and Triller Studios, I guess, is running it in the back. Maybe it's like a collaboration of Jason and Triller against Ethan Klein and, and Trisha Paytas just because of the whole Triller H3 situation, if you're familiar. But it's not working. Usually you don't say, these are some jokes we wrote before you say the jokes. And I understand he's trying to go for the awkward. Oh, this is so awkward. But it's not, no, it's not working, Jason. Because it has to be funny if, if you want that to work. It has to be chaotic and there's no chaos going on. You're just sitting here. An NFT by the artist Beeple recently sold for $69 million and shows what the artist did every day for the last 13 years. I had a similar piece that was on sale, but nobody wanted to buy 5,000 paintings of me crying in the shower. See, it just doesn't, it's not like the same. You don't have a sidekick to cut to who you're sharing the awkward tension with. You don't have like a funny joke that it ran off of. It was just an unfunny joke followed by more awkward pauses. So I don't understand what they're going for. A new report says two weeks after your first Moderna or Pfizer vaccine will make you 80% immune to COVID. It also makes you 80% more likely to brag about it on Instagram. <laughs> That is a Jimmy Fallon joke. That That is a joke that Jimmy Fallon would tell on his show. That is not a joke that a, a YouTube comedian should be telling on his independently run show where he can say whatever he wants. Not independently run, it's run by Triller, but you can still say whatever you want. I can't watch this and we're gonna skip. One of my favorite subreddits is Instant Karma, which shows bad people getting what's coming to them. So I went out with my camera the other day and 
Okay, sir, you're not somebody who's interested in redistributing the wealth to some of the poorest parts of our nation. No, I, I, I gotta get to work, man. I'm sorry. Oh, I see how it is. <gasps> oh! Instant karma, baby! Larry, there's a video of a guy getting hit by a bus yeah. that you just saw. So you just say, is he okay? Are you okay? It doesn't make any sense. And he does the same, like, he tries to do the same quirks that Eric Andre does, but it just is not funny. It's melting my brain how, how bad it is. How did they edit this together and think that it was funny? Because it's like, it's like mixing the safest jokes of mainstream media with the awkward humor and like rough around the edges cut that Eric Andre show has. But the reason it's funny with Eric Andre is because the jokes are good and the atmosphere works because of the people surrounding the show. But it doesn't work in this case because the, it, it, cause it's this. This guy is the head of animals at the San Diego Zoo. Please welcome Riley Burbank. Riley, how are you? I'm gonna try to skip past a lot of this because I don't want to put us through the torture. I like a lot of Shirley's content as a character actor, and I think he can do talented things, but this, this type of media and this set is not meant for him because of how Jason's running the show. I think this character could be funny. You know, Shirley's does the best he can do with what he's given, but it's just so painful to watch because Jason doesn't give him anything. Like, there's no chemistry between them. They don't have, like, funny back and forths. It's just like, oh, it's hard to watch. So you see, so you, you're not born in Australia, but you have an Australian accent. You're born in Newport Beach? Yeah, I was born in Newport Beach. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're, you're just floating in and out of an accent? Uh -huh. Newport Beach, bro. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening. I don't... Jason's just so bad at playing off of it. Like, I think the character could be funny. I'm not sure what's happening. It's not funny. This doesn't work. Do you have animals today? Okay, so let's get past this. He, there's no animals. He shows him a picture of an anteater. Jason's like, oh, this is weird. Ooh, they're like little mini elephants. All right, well, this is a fucking disaster, Christian. All right, let's just... Okay, let's get the next guest. Nina. <sighs> Hi. Same way they bring in the guests of the Eric Andre show, you awkwardly have them walk in through an entrance that's not meant for guests to come in. Oh, it's you guys, a we heavy door. Figure out an entrance. <laughs> Sorry, that's Larry, he's in the bathroom. Awkward sounds in the background that, that interrupt the show. Get, dude, did they think this was gonna go like well? Cause everyone knows you're ripping them off. So I don't understand where they think, why they think this is a good idea. I can't help it, but I'm so in love with you. Yeah. All right, we got one more segment on the show. You've been great so far. Thank this you. one's called- She wasn't even on the show. She sat down and they cut past it. Unless there's like a longer cut of the show. What does he mean she's been great so far? Also, part of the reason it works on Eric Andre, not to just continually bring that back up, but that's literally what this show is trying to be, is that the guests don't always know what they're in for and they mess with the people on the show, but everyone's in on the joke here and knows that it's supposed to be awkward, so there's nothing to play off of at all. Devil's Advocate. Basically, uh, I will state a topic, choose a side, and then the other person's gonna have to defend the side I didn't choose. The world, is it round or flat? I say it's round. Um, it's, it's flat because, um, it's flat because uh, the water, you, or else you would fall hey, off. You, hey, I don't know if you want, I don't know if you want to say publicly say that the world is flat. No, I'm, I'm not, I was, I was just... What is this like YouTube vlogger editing that we're doing? Oh, the joke's not funny. It's not funny. It could be funny, but they don't do it right. As, a, as everything in this show, they're not doing it right. I'm sorry. Caitlyn Jenner should be governor or should it? No, I'm done, oh. I'm done, I'm done. This is absolutely ridiculous. Right. Yeah. We, we got you something, you have, a, you have a parting gift. What is this, a carbon monoxide? I have one, it comes with my house. Oh. Do I exit this way? California condors endangered. Please check yeah. out my foundation. Check out the foundation. See, they're trying to pretend like she wasn't in on the joke. And obviously she was, but they didn't. I'm too tired for this. This is so bad. All right, that's our first episode of the Jason Nash Show. Uh, Larry, how do you think the show went? Well, the show. Oh, jeez. 
And why does the camera, like, every time they cut over to somebody, the camera's not already set up for the shot? Is that part of the style, or am I just... Like, every time it just moves over. Maybe you shouldn't come back next week with a new show. And, and as it seems, you're two days late for the next weekly episode, if that was the plan. Because I'm not seeing another show. So I don't know if they shut it down, or what the deal is, but no one no one had a good time watching this that's my final take on it it's bad everyone agrees it's bad holy crap i can't believe that this was his way of trying to get back on the internet don't do it don't try it probably should just quit youtube because you're not doing a great job thanks for watching i appreciate you guys checking out the second channel the video yesterday it did great so i'm, I'm happy about that uh, uh bye